Live from the Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. This is a YouTube channel vlog show in which video games, flash game show gameplays, along with sports and wrestling news, are the norm. This is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, good times, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now, here is the host of the show, the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. That's right, I'm the host of Perpetrator of Shenanigans, Eric Lima. This is a... It's of the good kind. Shenanigans of the good kind. Episode 139. This is episode 9 of Martindale Mondays, a.k.a. Tic-Tac-Doe. We're going to play some Tic-Tac-Doe bonus round of 20 round battle against the dragon in just a moment. Just to let everyone know, it is a hot day outside today if you live in Massachusetts. Man, 72 degrees. Who would have thought in the middle of the freaking November, okay? We're getting 72 degree like weather. I mean, like summer don't want to, don't want to go away. I mean, do, do we have much of a fall? What? Think so. We had we had leaves falling. Leaves fell. I just pick up leaves today. I got to pick up a lot of leaves, but whatever. Just get. <clears throat> but a lot of summer summery like days that we had. Uh, who knows what's going to happen? It could be fall. Could be fall like weather in December, November, December. Well, not, are we going to have a winter at all? We don't know. That's the thing. <clears throat> you know, New England weather is just the weirdest weather ever. You know, there's days we can get snow, and sometimes we don't get snow. It's like okay. Nowadays, I'll be happy we don't get any snow, but that's just my opinion. Just that's my thing. But we don't know for sure what the heck is going to go on. That's New England weather for you. And uh, <clears throat> and I forgot to give you guys my final days of October, like my final day of October uh, 22 thoughts. So I'll, I'll, on the next episode, I'll give you my October 22 final thoughts. And I think a lot of y'all know how I feel about this um, this past October. Well, we'll do that as soon as we can. But right now, we're going to have some fun playing some tic-tac-toe right now. All you got to do is 20-round battle, me versus the dragon. Get $1,000 or more, get a ticket attack, and I win. Dragon comes up, I lose. So we're going to play. And we're going to play, we're going to shuffle everything up. Everything's covered up, one through nine. Let's go to number four to start it off. Well, that's not how we all want to start off. Guess one number, and boom. It's one to nothing. All right. All right. One, one, five, six, and eight, seven, eight, nine. Everything else. Where was everything? Tack and tick. I should have gone six and then seven instead. Okay. Round two. Here we go. Let's try this again. Five. This time. Tick. Let's go to nine. 150. Let's go to three. 400. Let's go to seven. 300. And let's go to eight. 100. Let's go to six. 500. And I did a Super Mario game, a one-up. Super Mario game, one-up, let's find out. Okay, there's only three numbers left. One, two, and four. That means one of the numbers is 250 bucks. The other has the dragon, the other has attack. Attack was on number four. Dragon was behind number two. All right, so that means, so anyways, two of the numbers would have given me a victory. All right, round three, let's start with number three. Round three, 250. Let's go to five and see what a tick again. Let's go to number six this time. One hundred. Let's go to number nine. Three hundred. Let's go to four. Tacking again. And it's two to one. It's uh, two to one. All right. One, two, seven, eight. Which number will not get me a date? Number two again this time around. All right. Round four. Here we go. Round four. Let's go to number four this time. Attack. Let's try number five. 400. Let's go to number nine. 100. Let's go to number six. Oh! It's a Chuck Woolery game, ladies and gentlemen. When I mean Chuck Woolery, two and two. Yep. Okay. Ties the score up there. Where was the tick? Number eight. All right. Had it going there. All right. Let's go to round number five. Let's start off five. Here we go. $400. Let's try number seven. 100, let's go to number 9. 300, let's go to number 8. 500, I got the big announce. I got the big announce. 3 to 2. 3 to 2 after. Okay, now let me. 
Now, three of the numbers out of the five left here holds Tic Tac and a Dragon. Where were they? All right. Tic was behind three. Tac behind four. Dragon behind two. So two, three, and four. All right. Let's go. Round six. Let's try number six. $100. Below that, number nine. $500. let us go to number three. Now I'll line it up. Tac. Let's try number five. Three hundred. Let's go to number seven. Four hundred again. It's four to two. I'm actually winning. Four to two. Yes, sir. Alrighty then. Where? Okay. One, two, four, eight. Which number again will not get me a date? Number two. That means tickles behind number one. All the other numbers are good. Round seven. Round number seven. The seven the lucky number. Find out. Tick. Let's go to number nine. One hundred. Let's go to number six. Oh! Seven was not. Round seven was not a lucky number. But, however, I'm still up. To four to three. All right. Where was the tack? they got to be stacked somewhere. Number one. Separate up there. Okay. Round eight. Here we go. Round eight. Let's start with number eight. 250. Let's go next door. Number nine. 500. Let's go to number seven. 150. Let's go to number four. 300, and I did it. It's 5 to 3. 5 to 3. Okay, 1, 2, 5, 6, which number was not a good fix. Number 5 in the middle. Tech and tack, 2 and 6, respectively. Let's go to round number 9. Round 9, we'll start off on round 9. What about that? 250. Okay, let's go to number 4. Tick, let's go to number 6. 100, let's go to number 7. Jack and I did. Six to three, baby. Six to three. All right, one, two, five, eight. And again, who would not get me a date? Number five in the middle. I avoided it very nicely. Round ten. We're halfway there. Halfway mark. Here we go. Let's let's do a little math here. Let's play two plus eight. No. Nope. It's six to four. It's six to four. At least I'm still in the lead by two. I'm going to round number 11. Okay, where was everything else? What was everything? One and six could have been the... Uh, uh, could have been the numbers to pick. Tag and tick, respectively. Round 11, here we go. Nine plus two is 11. Eight plus three is 11. Um, seven plus four is 11. And I did it. The math works. Seven to four. Seven to four. Okay, now let's see. One of the numbers has four hundred. The other two have attack and a dra attack and a dragon. Where were the uh, tackles behind one, dragon behind. Now five and six would have been the last two I would have picked, but but uh obviously one of the numbers does have the dragon. Okay then. Let's shuffle everything up for round 12. Let's try 5. Plus 7 is 12. Yes! so oh, I did it! Alright! 8 to 4 and 1 away. This goes. 7 plus 5 is 12. Do a little math there. Very good. Alright then. So, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, or 9. Which number was not so fine? It would be number 2. Alright, round 13. Let's get to it. Round 13. Let's try 4. Plus 9 is 13. Uh, 6. Plus 7 is 13. Uh, 5. Plus, oh, I didn't know plus 8. 9 to 4. 9 to 4, baby. 9 to 4. 1, 2, 3, 8. Which number would not get me a date? Ah, I would have picked number 8. That would have been my next move. Could have been ticking. I would have won. But I didn't have to worry about that. And the dragon was behind number 2. All right, let's go. Round 14. Round 14. Now, 6 and 8 is 14. So I'm going to pick 6 first and then 8 next. No! It's a Dolly Parton game, ladies and gentlemen. You know why it's a Dolly Parton game? 9, 2, 5. What a way to make a living. Okay. All right, which numbers? One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine. Which numbers were so fine? It would be two and three there. Next, tick and uh, attack and tick next door to each other. Let's go spin. Let's go shuffle around. Let's go. Okay, round fifteen. Round fifteen. Eight plus seven is fifteen. 
tick. Let's try six. Plus nine is fifteen. Oh, oh, number four? Yeah, here we go. It's ten to five. It's ten to five, baby. All right. One, two, three, five. Which number was not alive? It would be number five. And number two would be the number I would have picked the, the automatic win. That's okay. Round 16. Will it be a sweet 16 so far? Up 10 to 5. Let's go. Let's go at 9. Plus 7 is 15. Oh! Instead, it's 10 to 6. 10 to 6. All right. One, two, th one through 6 and 8. Which number would have gotten me a date? Ah, number 6. Oh, well. All right, round 17. Here we go. Let's try once again. Nine plus eight is 17. 400. Let's try seven. 300. Let's go five. In the middle. Tick. Let's try number four. Yes! I win. 11 to six, baby. So no matter what happens these next three games, next three rounds, I should say, I have conquered the dragon. All right, one, two, three, six. It would be number three in Hell to Me Monster. Let's shuffle it up around 18. There we go. Round 18. Let's try six. Just start it off. $300. Nine below that. Let's see what it gives you. $150. Let's try five. Tack. Let's try number eight. $400. Let's try number seven. Oh, no. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 11 to seven. 11 to seven. It's 11 to seven. No problem. No problem. No problem. 11, 7. All right, 1 through 4, which number would have closed the door on the dragon? It would be number 3. All right, number 3 would be tick. Let's go to round number 19. Let's go number 6 again. 300. Let's try number 8 this time. 250. Let's try number 5. Tack. Let's try number 9. Take it, I got it. All right. It's 12 to 7. 12 to 7. Okay, one, two, three, four, and seven. Which number wasn't doesn't represent heaven? It would be number one, numero uno, and on the diagonal trip. All right, it is twelve to seven. One more round, and it will be done for today. Uh, for done, Martindale Monday, number nine. Let's try number nine. So this is my point. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Why? Why? Because for the first time in a long time, I have dominated the dragon. This final score is 12 to 8. Yeah. Okay, okay, smoke K okay, now. Before I go, and this time I'm going to bloody go because I want to. Because you don't know, Jock. Let's find out where everything else was. All right. One is tick. Tack behind seven. And that is it. And the other corner, the dragon that I chose was behind number nine. To finish it off, so the final score, as you saw, 12 to 8. I'm happy. Hope you are, too. So that is all the time we have on this show. Um, I hope you, hope you like this show. If you like if you like my show, you like my content, please subscribe and ring the bell for the those notifications, people. Because I'll tell you one thing, and tell everybody that you know about this show. I like to get some sus more subscribers in. And um, a lot of people, you know, I'll talk about that on the next episode in my October 2022 final thoughts. So until then, peace out. And Mr. Announcer, if you are hanging out with us, please take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget Production, and in association with a sweet bumbling bofo raver telepictures and distribution. See you next episode, and have a very blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe to the Demon Thousand Network for great more content like this one.